Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a 1v1 nine hole match coming for you against Claire Hogel at PJ National. She flew all the way from California to get this match in, and I think she could be the best female golfer on YouTube. Let's get right into this. All right, guys, first hole here, it's 400 yards. We're straight into the wind, but Claire, we're gonna just pick her tee box out. We don't even know where she's gonna tee off. Is there like a certain number you're looking for today? I think like 350 is reasonable on a par four. I'll just try to keep it reasonable. If you get too far up, I'll maybe play further up, and if I get too far up, I'll come closer. Okay. We'll yeah, just play I'll, it I'll by ear. On that. Okay. All right, guys, match play, nine holes on my channel. It's gonna be nine holes on Claire's channel. Oh, it's right at that cart. Oh! Oh my gosh, almost yeah, I almost hit her. pretty good. I bombed that. It was just a little down the left side. Whew. Crazy part about this course is there's no tee markers. We want to make that very clear. So Claire's just going to walk up here and she's literally just going to find a tee marker. She's going to suss out the box. I think this course was set up for match play. So it's like, it's called the match course. Thank I guess you. it's tougher if you're opposite genders. Right, right, right. Because so, if I was also a guy, I could just play from your tee box. Exactly. So now it's like you're just, I'm just trusting you. You go ahead, pick your tee marker. Okay. I'll try it's not to get too greedy. 362, let's go up a little <laughs> let's bit. Let's go one more. Let's go one more. That's let's go fair. Like 10 yards. So up that'll here. be fair. All right. Well, we are up here at about 350. I'm taking driver pretty open to the right. So I'm just going to try to hit a solid one out there and find the fairway. We're playing now like two years later. I feel like the last time we played was about two years ago. It was hilarious. You were thinking of becoming a assistant pro, right? Mm-hmm, yeah, I was torn, I was torn. And then you guys were like, no, you gotta do YouTube. Like, it's gonna be so good. And I'm like, okay, I guess I'll turn down the job. I think ultimately I'm happy that I went this route. I've kind of built something that's my own. I'm happy with the direction that I went. That's just crazy, because on one hand, you had being an assistant pro. Yeah. And then the other one was like doing full-time social media. I know. I'm glad, I'm glad with what I picked. All right, so I don't know if my swing speed's just not there yet, because we're easing into the round, but I am quite far away. I have 177. I'm gonna take my four iron. I gotta hit this one solid and hope it chases up there. It looks like right is sort of like a death trap. So I'm gonna play it a little left of the hole. It's chunky, but it's safe. Nice shot, okay. not bad. I guess I was freaked out by the drop off to the right of the green. These greens are in so, so slopey. Like every single green out here is like this. It's just a very, very interesting course, but it's built for match play once again. I think it's gonna be super fun. This is what we're looking at here. We are up against a bush. We got 82 yards. I'm gonna go with a 56 degree. I'm just gonna try and like hook it up around here. Okay. Okay. That's really good. No. Sit. Oof. Yeah. Was that thin or did you just hit it like a I little too hard? It I couldn't tell though, cause I, that bush just grabbed it. I was trying to hit that little slope back there. I missed it. It's gonna be actually pretty tough now to get up and down. I mean, this is a tough green. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you're in a way better spot now that you're short and left. Yeah, yours, yours does not look fun. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> I gotta go up over this slope back here. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Before we go on with the rest of today's video, I wanna give a huge thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. So guys, AG1 is a comprehensive daily nutrition made of 75 high quality ingredients. Now you guys know we are on the road all the time traveling, trying to get content. And one thing when you travel is you go through airports and airports, they have a ton of germs. And one thing with AG1 is it's gonna help you with that immune support. Now the other thing, when I wake up in the morning, I'm on an empty stomach and I need some energy to get through 18 holes, 36 holes a day. This will give you sustained energy throughout the day. Another thing about AG1 is how easy it is and quick to make. Guys, I just made this right here and it took me no joke one minute. I just filled the water up, took one of these travel packs here, which are super small and easy to carry, filled it up and we got that energy throughout the day. You get your vitamins, you get everything. These AG1 travel packs make it super easy to stay committed to your intentions because wherever you are, you can have these in your pocket, in your suitcase, anything you wanna carry. All right guys, quick little taste test here. Let's try it out. 
It's got like a, a very subtle sweet taste. It's not overwhelming at all. I really like it. So go to athleticgreens.com slash Grant Horvat to get started on your order. AG1 is going to give my community a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. One thing I like about this course, I gotta say, is there's not much rough out here. Like, usually you'd be in a thicker rough down here, but it's it's just nice fairway grass. I gotta land it up on this slope here, up on top, let it roll down. It's gonna be pretty tricky. I just gotta feel it in the hand. Oh, no. I flew that way too far. I needed to land that way back here and let it trickle. I flew it almost to the pit. Grant hit it maybe like 20 feet by. He's a great putter, but I don't know. Odds are he'll probably miss it, lip out, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so this is a major opportunity on the first hole for me to go one up. I think I'm gonna need it. Grant's a great player, so I'm definitely gonna try to lock in on this thing and stick it close, make the putt. left to right, down the hill. Claire's got some work for par. I was talking to Mikey yesterday, I heard that Claire played really good, that's all I know, so I'm kind of scared. I, I just gotta, I gotta play some good golf today. Oh! oh It was gonna be like halfway up the hill if I missed that. You have to just assume your match play opponent is gonna make their putt because now I'm sitting here all frazzled. Okay, I got a right to lefter and this really needs to go in at this point. No way. How the turntables. <laughs> That's all right. Shoot, okay. I right. cannot believe that. That was completely unexpected. Puts me one down. I'm really gonna need a fight here. That was yeah. a great putt. That was awesome. I, don't, I can't remember the last time I made a nice long par putt like that. Yeah, that, it feels good, feels, right? It does, it does feel good. I gotta ask you, what would you say right now is your handicap? Because I feel like a lot of people don't know how good of a golfer you actually are. So I played college golf. Back in college golf, when I kept a handicap, I had a plus 4.9 handicap. So I was really good back in college. Now I don't really practice. I play YouTube golf. I take IG photos. You know how it goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I would just say I'm just a scratch at this point because I I'm, I used to be pretty deadly with the short game and now it's kind of, you know, yeah, it, it's YouTube, hit or miss. YouTube golf will like- It'll get you. It will get you. Yeah. You don't get to practice as much. You know? Exactly. Where did you play college golf? I played at Cal State San Marcos. I stayed local gotcha. in San Diego. Gotcha, okay, yeah. Cal State. Second hole of the day, 164, par three. I feel like if I start taking the lead or getting one or two up, Claire's gonna start moving up a little, <laughs> a little, a little closer each time. Oh, wow. That is just on a string. Pretty good. Oh my Great. goodness. What a shot. Thank you. Claire's up here at 130 yards. Now, how did you pick this yardage? Grant what club he was gonna hit and he hit an eight iron so my yardage for an eight iron at this point in time is 130 so going with an eight just trying to keep it equitable here he stuck that one really tight so I'm gonna try to do the same focus in and cannot let him get too up early that would just be bad nice really good well, just a little long. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna walk out the line of this putt for you guys because it's actually insane. This is what I'm seeing, Grant. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I uh. Coming out here, way left. Trouble is, if, if I don't have enough speed on it, it can go over there. Or if, if you miss it just right. It could go over here. Yeah. That was pretty good. That was really good. I feel like that's as good as I could do. Yeah, you left yourself with an uphill it. putt. Yeah, okay, all right, I'll take it. There is a lot that could have gone wrong there. She actually had a great putt. She got a little work though for the par. A little right to left here. Oh no, that's gotta go. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know not what bad. I was saying. Not bad. Not bad. 
so pure. Okay, thank it. That was really good. Beautiful. Great Snuck time. it right in there. All right, well guys, after the first two holes, I am one up. It's been good so far. It's yeah, good. good match. All right. Get it. Third hole here. I don't even know how far this is. This is a tricky little par four. It goes straight to the right. It does set up for a cut, and I'm not a fan, but try and hit it. Tee it really low here. Try and hit like a low cut. Okay, that was dead straight, but. Is it gonna work? <laughs> oh my gosh. Is it gonna work? Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, beautiful. Not a low cut. I I love it. I mean, it's right down the middle of the fairway. Yeah, just I I, I didn't call it. I've got about 300 yards. I'm going with driver. I've never played this course, so I'm trusting that if I'm gonna take a a big, you know, like misstep with any club or shot choice, you're gonna tell me, right? This one, dog leg right. You just want to hit it over those three little palm fronds. Okay, little... I like it. Nice shot. That was really good. Is that going to work out okay? Yeah, it was perfect. Okay, great. It's really cool because I feel like you know a lot about the golf swing. Because mm -hmm. I remember talking with you a year and a half ago yeah. in California about the golf swing and you were like telling me all, all the positions and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, dang, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I've got, I don't know if it's all correct. I mean, it all works for me. I'm like semi self-taught. So my dad coached me all growing up. And so we basically worked together to build my swing. He's a really good golfer. Like, I don't believe I've ever beat him. That's crazy. <laughs> He's like really, really good. He shot 63. Guy is a player. So I'm pretty self-taught and also like when I was working on my swing, a lot of it was like aesthetically based. Right. Um, I would just see like beautiful swings, you know, Rory McIlroy, all the pros, all that kind of stuff. And I kind of get these visuals. I'm very like aesthetic person. So I get these visuals and then I'd film my swing and compare it. And that's kind of a lot a lot of the way that I built my swing. That's what I feel like a lot of young golfers these days are doing the same thing. Like yeah. the kids, like the junior golfers all have their phones and they're just looking at golf swings it's all day. It's a major asset. Yeah. It's crazy. I have 112. To me, that feels like a good solid pitching wedge. Definitely going to need to execute well on this one because short of the green is kind of a menacing bunker and also a false front, so. Oh yeah. Go. Go. A little thin. Go. Not bad. Not right. bad. I'll take it. I will take Pardon it. Pardon my, my butt sweat. Uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty gnarly right now. I can feel it. Yeah, yeah. It's only like a million degrees out today. All right. 96 yards. I got a 56 degree. I'm going right at this thing. Full swing. Wow. Great shot. Thank you. Okay, no quit. A little steep on that, but that's all right. I came to play. All right, so mine's a little bit left to right. His is just down the hill here. I'm, I'm not having given a read. Yeah, big opportunity here. This is a nice little birdie look. Just gonna see if I can make a nice stroke on it, kind of like I did on that short one on the last hole. Find the cup, that'd be cool. Where it starts to get a little bit intense. He's one down. He's playing for a lot of ego, a lot of pride here. to go two up here. You can roll it in little right to left, down the hill, and kind of feed it. Oh. I thought it was in. That I almost was, walked yeah, it in. I was, I was worried. My heart dropped. I was Halfway through, I was ready to congratulate you. All right, here we go. A little work. Beautiful putt. All right. Go. You always have those little thoughts like you miss the most embarrassing thing ever. So yep. I gotta I gotta get those thoughts out of my head. Here we go, we got some traffic here. <laughs> so on that swing right there, did you have any swing thoughts or was Yeah, just... my swing thought. Okay, so I've used this for the, like a, a few swings over the past couple days. I look down at the ball and I just imagine with that club that I have in hand, I'm like thinking of the best seven iron I've ever hit. That was a seven iron. That's I did what this you were with thinking a, of. Yeah, and I did this with a five iron and also the eight iron on the other par three. But basically, if you just look down at it and just imagine hitting the best shot you've ever hit with that particular club, it just puts a really good feel into your hands. It relaxes you. I've never. It allows you to like have perfect that. rhythm. Well, I did just give you my top secret, so you can. That's try not it. even like a swing thought. That's like a swing vibe. Like a yeah, like a swing, <laughs> swing vibe. vibe. One eighty-seven par three. Once again, no idea where Claire's gonna be. She's gonna be this whole tee box. I mean, this tee box is probably hundred yards long. We're one up after three holes. Oh, 
don't know. What the heck? Is that water over to the left? Doesn't look like it. What is going on? This is kind of crazy. You know, a thought that just popped into my head with this par three moment. If I step like, let's say I step up that way or I step back that way. Let's say I hit it perfectly on a string. That could be the difference between a hole in one or not. Right. Because there's no <laughs> T marker. So weird. It's true. Okay, so I got about 140 into the wind. I'm going with a seven iron here. Grant hit uh, sort of an unfortunate little hook to the left there. So I do have an opening. He is one up. Realistically, it would be smart if I took advantage of this. So let's do it. Nice swing. Okay, we got a birdie oh, yeah. putt. Hopefully I make it or he makes a mistake, but I need to get one back here. Would you say like putting is your strong suit? Thing? I would definitely say so. Obviously some days it's off, but I, th I think it's on enough for people to know. For example, I collabed with Random Golf Club, and I know you just met up yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, was that fun? Eric. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah, they're really Super good Super good guy. But I played, I played their breaking series and I putted really terribly. And I saw like some of my subscribers were like, oh man, Claire never putts like this. How about you? That. What's no, your strong suit? That. Probably driver. Driver. Usually driver. Yeah, I can, when I'm on with my driver, I'll usually hit a lot of fairways. I'll probably hit 60 to 70% of the fairways. We thought I was in the water. I'm actually over the back of the green here. It's about as hard of a shot as you could leave yourself with. Down slope off of pretty much sand. The green's going away from me. I'm just gonna play like a bunker shot. Nope, bounced it right into the ball. Okay. That's tough. I'm afraid of that. That's a really tough shot. I'll take it. Yeah. Anything on the green, honestly, from that position, I can't be mad. Well, let's drain another par putt here. Little right to left, up the hill. Oh, I see this line. No. I had to give it a run. I said Claire's not going to three putt. There's just no way. Okay, I got a birdie putt, and I just realized he is sweating in various areas. I am sweating in various areas. We just needed to acknowledge that. Left to right or here? Um, let's see. It looks to be pretty level. Realistically, all I need here is a par. So speed is key. Flag it up there. You got two putts in your good. Flag her up there. Beautiful little lag. <laughs> That's good. I'll give feet. it to you. Okay. That's good. That was like two feet. That was big for Claire. All square now after four holes, guys. This is a good match so far. And this course is really pure. So shout out to PJ National for having us out. Fifth hole of the day. Gotta keep it right. There's water on the left side of this fairway. Oh. Hey there. Hold spinny. Do work. Yeah, I just talked about it. I was like, I was just telling Claire, driving is usually the strong point of my game, so I was I was actually pretty nervous there. All right, I have dropped myself up here at like 375 or so. He was back at 425 or so. Hopefully that's a fair little distance advantage there. Um, I have driver, it looks like water left, so just wanna hit a nice solid drive out there, put myself in position. Nice shot. Holy crap, Claire. Yeah, I'll take that one. <laughs> We're right next to each other. Cool. <laughs> I think we're like almost like good card partners. <laughs> so we're we're gonna say it's a par five. It says par five on the screen here. So alrighty. So six iron here. That's gonna work. A little thin. That's gonna work. Thin out a bit. Okay. Yeah. Just as I expected. Gonna be a bit short. Didn't compress it, obviously. Um, but shadow got you there. I know it did. I hate swinging with my shadow. I was, I was kidding. So distracting. I was actually. No, but you're right. It, it is very distracting. So yeah, we'll get up and down. It's all good. Putting with my shadow doesn't bother me. It's with my golf swing because I turn my head mm -hmm. before I swing and I mm -hmm. see it. I'm like, mm -hmm. what are you doing? <laughs> like I'm, I'm looking at my shadow. Yeah. yeah, the swing from the shadows angle is just. It's not a, not a pretty sight. Yeah. 142 yards here. I'm gonna go with. I think an eight iron, I just wanna punch it. Wow. The control. Oh, oh my gosh. No, 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 no. It's coming back. Here it comes. Gosh, that is so good. That, but like for me, I actually had like a mental glitch there because I was like, when I got to the ball, I went like this. I was scared. All right, Skylar, what are we thinking? Texas wedge, real wedge. I just wanna see you hit a wedge. I don't want to hit the wedge. <laughs> uh, either way, it could go very much awry. But I think maybe I'll just try to be bold, hit the wedge, hope for the best. Nice. Mm. Just a little. 
little long. A little long, yeah. Okay, I've got maybe eight feet to go. It would be nice to make that one. That distance that you're at, Claire, it's, it's interesting with Florida because of the grain. It's probably not as much in California. And you, if you guys ever play in Florida, you'll notice right away with chipping, you got to learn how to use the bounce. You have to learn how to slide the club because if you're using that leading edge here in Florida, you'll dig all day and you'll have no spin. Faster It'll than work. I, oh my gosh. I mean, it's a long putt. Black putting was my specialty in college and I completely went out the window. All right, we got a left to righter here. If I make this, I could even win the hole if he misses his yeah, putt. So this, this is an opportunity here. No way. Mm. Oh my goodness. Painful. Now I got a chance here to win this hole. It's called back and forth. Don't do it! Ugh. I hate that. I yeah. hate that. All right, you're back to one up. Back How does it feel? Up. It feels great. <laughs> I mean, I've actually felt like I've played solid golf today, so back to one up now. Couple more holes to go. It's been a great match, guys. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Sixth hole here, 167. I got a seven iron going right for this pin. We got a one up lead now. It's getting more intense. Gosh, that is why I would say irons are your strong suit because that is just incredible. Pull it a little bit. Yeah, he's not happy with it. <laughs> yeah, I tried, to, I tried to cut that and Claire's like, wow. All right, so I've got about 141 or so. I'm taking a seven iron. Um, not a whole lot of wind in play here, if any, maybe a bit down. Would be cool to just stick one tight. That would just be fun, right? Could have used a club less, or could have dropped it. Where did that go? A little far back. I hit it over the green. Oh, you blew it. Uh huh. I hit. I hit it pretty solid. All right. I left myself with fun shot here. Um. So I lost my 60 degree wedge the day before I flew out here. So all I have is a 56, and I would really love to have my 60, but alas. I'm just gonna open the face and try and slide it under, use the bounce like Grant was talking about on the last hole here, and um, just land it on. Hopefully it stops in time. I think it's gonna break a little bit right. What do you think, Grant? You gotta get some spin on this. This is, this is tricky. This is really tricky. Okay, came out a bit right. I think it's because I have this 56. So that, I don't have my 60. That was 60. a 56? Yeah, but that's okay. I got maybe like seven feet or so. Left to right, down the hill. Chance to go two up if I make this. Claire's got some work. She's got eight feet, seven, eight feet. No. Oh, a little further. Keep rolling. Okay, not bad. Why do I do this so much? <laughs> I, I could have just lagged it up there. Okay, I've got a left to righter here to save my par, and it basically needs to happen. There's really no other way to put it. Grant's one up, and can't, can't be given away anymore. Hang on. Okay. Oh my. Grant, no. Wow. I hate to see it. <laughs> Gosh dang it. That, that snap, that was, I felt like a good stroke. Mm -hmm. I don't know, that's really frustrating. I just felt like I hit a great putt there and it just snaps. And when in Florida, I just noticed with grain, if you even slightly pull a putt like that, put a little side spin on it, it just snaps. That's all right, we're still one up. Still a great match, guys. Let's see how many likes we can get for this match. I think it's, I think it's been a super fun day and I think it's gonna come right down to the final hole today. Yeah, here we go. Hole seven, par four, dog leg left. That putt was to go to two up, which just absolutely stinks. Let's just keep the pedal down. I think Claire's gonna make a birdie coming up, so I can just kind of feel it. Woo, babe. 
baby. That's my little bleeder bomb. I teed that thing down low and that thing went for a mile. Maybe my best drive of the day. So, I know you didn't see it because you were trying to with the ladies. Trying up with the girlies. Hey, when girls get talking, they just, they don't stop. <laughs> they don't talk. Um, do you want to tee off on gab. the other side of the bridge here? Yeah, I don't Three. know if I can carry the water. Yeah, it's about it's like kind of freaking 20. me out here. So it's like 30 yards to carry it. Is that out of your range? I don't know. I'm like a little worried. Like it kind of freaks me out when I see water in front of myself because I'm like, man, am I going to top this? Yeah, you yeah. Know? You're right. I'm joking. Yeah, I know you're <laughs> Okay, so I have 330 yards into a bit of wind, got a driver, and we are just going to keep it low, run it out there. I hear Grant hit a fantastic drive, so one up. I just gotta get focused, and it's, it's time to just do, you know? No more talking, it's time to do. Wow, that was bombed. All right, we'll take it. That was bombed. Nice shot. Love a downwind hole. Downwind hole. <laughs> I gotta keep this pedal down. I cannot give up in this match. I tend to just get lazy and start throwing, like missing putts like that. It's just lazy. That was a good swing. Yeah, honestly, who knows what it would have been, but the down, down side wind off the right definitely made it look nice. <laughs> right, right. It's crazy though, because like when you watch the pros, when they hit a draw or a fade, it like moves like an inch. It's yeah, like really? When oh yeah, when I watch them hit on the range, and, and there's someone that like on TV, they'll say, man, he hits a huge cut and it barely cuts. Really? And Bubba Watson was like the only guy that actually moved the ball. Yeah. The rest of the pros barely work well, it. Well, the like, thing is, move. they have to, because they play from such crazy yardages. If the ball is out here, like, move into the right 10, 20 yards in the air, left 10, 20 yards in the air. You can't enough. You can't. Right. And they, they play, you know, tiny greens, narrow fairways from like, what, 7,500 yards? Oh yeah, it's so long. So yeah, you, you have to be precise and a cut and a fade or small parameters. Right. 136 here. Going with an eight iron here. Oh, that was your best swing. Was it? Sit. Oh! Almost went in. Uh, yeah, it landed just past it, um, and it kind of ran out a bit. So I don't have a very close birdie putt, but it's a birdie putt nonetheless. Uh, let's see if we can capitalize. 114, 52 degree. Yeah, Claire's long. Claire's got a good probably 30 feet, 40 feet. I'm gonna capitalize here. I don't. Either a 56 or a 52. I'm gonna go with the 52. Oh my god. Oh my. Good I'm luck. sorry, PJ National. I will fix that. I just actually took a practice swing and took out half the fairway. Oh, come on in there. Come on in there. What? Dang, we're both kind of by it a bit. Man, we're like right next to each other. Well, it was fun. really downwind, I think. Uh-huh, it must have been. I don't think we realized. Yeah. Dang. Down the hill, left to right. <laughs> I'm outside of Claire now, so it's great. I was just telling the camera how far away she was, but I'm outside of her. I'm going first. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. All right, a little over to the right here and slightly closer. I have a hump in play over here that was not in play for his and then comes back to the right at the end. So realistically, I mean, I don't, I don't know if he's gonna make this. You can't be making eight footers all day long. Do you know what I'm saying? If I can just lag this up there, get a two putt in the bag, I could get back to all square. This is, this is a big, That was good. That was really good. That like dripped over the front edge at perfect speed. Great yeah, putt. Yeah, that was that was the best putt of the trip here thus far, yeah. for sure. And you try is that like perfect time. Was that intentional to try and just get it to drip over like that? Yeah, it was kind of flexy, right? Yeah, it yeah. was. It was kind like, of put some fear in your I eyes, like yeah. Really damaged the back of the cup a little bit. Like you go. <laughs> that was like a 30 footer, 35 footer down the hill. That's all square now. I'm impressed. I'm very impressed by that putt. That was like, that was kind of like a tour putt. If you guys ever watch the tour, they tend to just like drip them in really good speed like that. Especially even on those long ones, they really do. So eighth hole of the day, now all square. What did I say on that tee box? Tyler, if you remember, I said Claire's gonna make a birdie. I think Claire's gonna make a birdie coming up, so I can just kind of feel it. Par five here. 
Yeah, that's just gorgeous. Thank you. There you go. That's oh, that driver. Sick. Wow. I don't know where that went. That was hit. Yeah, I think it did. When I hit this driver good, there is not a driver that I think I could possibly hit further. It's no spin and it's just long. Shout out to Taylor May. Car five. Still a bit downwind, so I'm gonna tee this thing up and try to ride the breeze a bit. Driver in hand and water on the right. So Lord knows we are going to the left. Dang. Dang. All right, over where you are, I think. Yeah, you said you just, that, that shaft is not even fit for you. No, you just, not fit for me. Got it in men, the mail. That's a men's flex, right? Yeah, I mean, you know, 60 grams, stiff shafts, whatever. It's, it's no big deal. Yo, that's crazy. That Because I feel like that was the exact stealth driver that was in that like box. It the was. Speaker in yes, that was the one. Because I remember that shaft. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I would love to get fit, but it works pretty well. Yeah. I mean, no, I mean that flight right there. I've been hitting I, it pretty well, you know. Yeah, you've I, almost hit every fairway today, so. All right, so I got about 130. Um, I'm pulling my 9-iron with the downwind here. I just want to land it short and right of the pin because there's a death, cl death cliff off to the left. Grant is right there in really similar positions here. I just watched Claire there. I am not gonna do that. We got one, we got like 128 from my ball. We're gonna go 52. There's no way. Oh. What? How? I cannot believe that. I, I, I know it's just off the back, but still, the fact that that's long, I said there's no way this is going long. My 52 full right now is like 115, so I cannot believe that. So I'm gonna land this wedge into the hill. Hope for the best. We don't know if it's gonna come back. We don't know if it's gonna fly long in the water, but we're gonna try to land it right in here, kill it into the hill, and then have it just roll out. Hopefully somewhere closer in. It's really a tough shot here. We chunked it. Um, I'm much closer on that one, so maybe I'll chip it in. I can't fully comprehend these greens. Once again, like there is a giant hill right here. If I land it right here, it comes back to my feet. So I gotta land it right up here and let it trickle. So <laughs> gotta almost hit a flop shot here. Oh, oh, thin, thin it. <laughs> this game mixed okay, with. This. Oh my god. I've had enough of the wedge. We're just gonna putt this. Goal is really to get it within a foot or two. I think that'll do it. I think that'll have the hole. Good way. Good putt. Thank you. That's good. Okay, great. Give it to you. Oh boy. I technically have a putt right here to win the hole. It's only a good 35 feet up the hill for the par. Stop it. No way. Last hole, all square. Can't ask for much more in match play. I mean, battled it out to this point. Claire's made some good putts, hit a lot of good shots. Ninth hole of the match course. Straight into the wind, it's a beast. We can determine the winner right here. So I'm just gotta win this hole or we're gonna be going into playoff holes. So, may the best person win, Claire. May the best person win. Good as I can hit it. I lost it. Oh yeah, great drive. Perfect. Yeah. That's a ways out there. That's all I got in the tank there. Into the wind, I've got a driver and the fairway runs out at about 245, 250 or so. So I think that should be fine with the into the breeze. Just gonna try to nuke this, avoid the water left, avoid the bunkers right. Do, all, do it all correctly. Dang, every drive today she's hit. That's a good drive. Basically down the middle. Great. Oh, nice shot. Fairway. 
You know there's water over there to the left. I know, I see that. Okay. Just making sure. You're close to it, but you're not in it. Middle of the fairway. Middle of the fairway. No, I know. I just know you haven't played here, right? No, I have not. All new. Um, have you played much Florida golf or mostly just in California? I've played um, a fair amount of Florida golf. Kind of, I kind of get it, you know, really grainy greens are the biggest thing. Right. I love the turf interaction on the irons out here. Do you? Yeah. See, that's interesting because I like it on bent, like when you take those big dollar bill divots. Really? Here I it kind of like... is interesting. I feel like it just, it doesn't dig that much. In California, I'm constantly fighting very diggy iron shots that right, kind of like right. splash. Right, right. Well, it's because it's sand. It's because it's sand. Uh -huh. So it just kind of like rips apart the ground. Yeah, that's kind of what it feels like. Anyways, I'm into it. I like it. Got my uh, shorts nice and short like someone. Just dig. 112. I go with a 52. I feel like right now, coming down to the point, if you hit a good shot here and make a birdie, you're probably going to win. So balls and whoever's court. I got at least, what, a foot of height there? Okay, a good six inch vert there. Okay, so I have a pitching wedge from 112 into a stiff breeze here. Um, I'm gonna choke up just a little bit and just try to hit it solid right on line and you know, hope for the best. About pin high, hoping for a good, good landing spot. That's a spot lot there. closer than mine. I'm not even on the green, guys. I spun off the green. I actually landed right in there. If you can see it, there's a ball mark. I got a chip straight up the hill. Claire's got a 10 footer for birdie, so I'm gonna try and chip this in. This is a match play situation, or I'm going for it. Oh. I have You're chipped a few in before. Chip. You always forecast it. I every know. Time. Oh, dang it. Dang okay. it. All right. You are in for par. You got a chance to win it now. Got a chance with this birdie putt here. All right, I would love to close this out. To end the match. We got to do it. We got to do it. Uh, he gave that a really good run. My heart kind of sank for a second there. So, recuperating. I've got a left to righter down the hill. Just got to find the cup. Oh. <laughs> I really didn't want to go to a playoff hole, Grant. I really didn't. Good match, Claire. Good oh match. my goodness. <laughs> what a great putt. Guys, I tried. I battled it. I didn't want to lose to Claire. I did not. I was That chip today. was unreal. Thank you so much. Great Thanks for coming effort. on the channel, guys. Claire beat me one up on the final hole with a birdie. <laughs> Let's get some likes for that. That was pretty cool. That was a great clutch putt. Nine more holes on your channel. So be sure to check that out. We're going on to the back nine here at the match course. Till next time, guys. Peace.